Hey, what's up? I hit a bit of a crossroads um, here the last couple of days on the daily vlog, the video blog. I hate the word vlog. I was watching the Alabama practice footage that I uploaded and I was kind of thinking about how they do these drills. Every football team, Alabama, just one example. They do all these drills that a lot of them you look at it and you're like, what does that even have to do with football? actually playing the game, you know, and as a player, you're like, well, why don't we just play the game? Seems like if we just scrimmage all the time and, you know, that would help us to actually play the game better. But they just do hours and hours and thousands of reps of these, what look like mundane little drills. Why do they do that? It's because that's how you form habit, right? So what they're trying to do is in every little teeny tiny thing, that they do from the way they line up to their stance to the way they come off the ball and they say hut to the way they handle the football the way they pick their knees up to every little single thing they're trying to train their habits so that when they're in the game they don't even have to think about it it's just what they do it's habit actually that's what i have been dealing with personally i think a little bit run down at times feeling a little tired but also feeling like you know, at times running out of ideas for the vlog and not shooting as much video each day. And here's what it was. Here's what jumped out at me. I spent months, four or five months, of reprogramming habits, eating habits, workout habits, thinking habits, daily shooting video and uploading habits. And then over the last, all it took was about a week of just kind of slacking off on that. Just a little bit of laziness, uh, letting go of the eating habits I had formed and kind of slacking off on that, kind of slacking off just a tiny bit on the workout habits. You know, just easing up on the way I'm shooting video and thinking about it every day. And just doing that for a few days really threw me into a, sort of a, a mental funk. And so, so I felt like coming here and just sort of expressing on today's vlog because I think it would probably speak to a lot of people how important the habitual part of our life is. Because it can either be good if we understand that and we program our habits and reprogram our habits, but it can also be really bad. The habitual part of our life can be really bad too if we just let it go because then all the bad things become habit and then those habits are hard to break. So it's like the good habits are take longer to form, you have to really try to hang on to them. Bad habits form really easily and they're hard to break. Anyway, I know it's a weird kind of uh, conjunction of a couple of things, but same thing on the radio show, feeling just a little bit off in the last few days, even though I was really excited to get some games going and I stepped back and it's funny, just watching the practice video and going, you know, those players, they put those players through the most mundane, what looks like mundane stuff every day, and they don't let them take any days off on it. They just program it and program it because they know at the end of the day when it really matters on game day, their habits are going to be formed by all this stuff they're doing when nobody's looking. And you know what I thought? I need to approach my same, my life that same way. All the habits every day is an opportunity to work a little bit and just peck away at forming better habits in, in every area of your life. Eating habits, workout habits, work habits, thought habits, planning habits, all that. And just, just work on it, the little things every day so then it becomes habitual. And when it really counts, it works better. Does that make any sense?